Hey everybody, I'm Dan Jackson. Welcome to my channel, Dan's the Engineer. Recently, I went on a family trip to the US. We went to Florida, done Disney, all of that sort of thing, Universal, went on a cruise, absolutely loved it. Love America, love going there. It's very diverse and very different to the different parts of America you go to, and I look forward to traveling more of America in the future. So I love the Americans. They're full of enthusiasm. Their, their films are brilliant. Their food outlets, you know, shopping, you name it. America is fantastic for that. But one thing you're not fantastic for America, I'm afraid, is your plug sockets. They are actually particularly dangerous in my opinion. Naturally, when I, I've done a series of videos and filming that I'll be posting from now on about observations in America, uh, in the US about things that I'm finding different to the UK. Now, I don't know American code, what you call it. We call it wiring regulations. I don't know about your code um, and stuff like that. I haven't looked into it. I will do. And um, by all means, if you want to tell me anything that I mentioned in this video, put in the comments below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Or if you're a, a UK electrician and you've done work in the US, again, tell me the differences. I want to hear from you. Have a look at this. This is in our hotel room and it was just an observation I was making. Check it out. So you've got a little mirror here. This is sort of next to the sink. Now, when I come in here, the, um, the plug was like this. So you can see the exposed metal parts there. And uh, when I, let's put this on a blue so you can see. So then I had a little bit of a play. And as you can see, if I pulled it out, that's still on. If I pulled it out to that much, that is still energized. And look, the pins stick out that far, like I can easily get my finger in that. That's like the width of my finger to touch live and neutral. Just a little comparison. This is a US to UK plug converter. It's only a cheap little thing. Um, but and it only it only allows class two equipment. Now I, I doubt you can see it, but I'll, I'll tell you when it goes on. But currently the socket is live, it's energized, but my phone is not charging. And as you can see, we've got some insulated pins there. For a UK socket to engage, the earth pin has to be inserted to allow for the two shutters to open. So as you can see, in comparison to the US plug, they are both sticking out equal distance. Now the UK one is dead, so it is safe. The US one, if I just turn the light back on, that is energized and they're sticking out the same and I can touch the live pins there, as you can see. So it isn't until that's now become live and it's charging my phone. So the UK socket, that is currently charging now. So that's sticking out, as you can see, even if I was to get, I don't know, I don't know, tweezers or something and shove them in there, you've got insulated pins. So I couldn't get an electric shock and there's no risk of touching live parts. So that is energized. But as you can see with the US plug, I could easily put tweezers on it. I can get my finger in there. And the other point to make, about your absolutely terrible plug sockets. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it offends anybody, but it's true, is that they're, they're not fused. Guys, sort it out. I don't know if that's gonna change. I mean, I actually saw a video the other day um, of a kid um, pulling out, a plug, playing with a plug socket at home. It was obviously in the US, and um, the kid actually got an electric shock, and honestly, it, it made me angry just seeing that, just because, I mean, it hurts to get an electric shock. I mean, if you've if you get if you've ever received an electric shock, it's not a nice thing. It's not something you want. It can kill. You know, there's things about oh, it's all funny. Get an electric shock, your hair goes up and you get blown out. You know, ha ha ha! It's hilarious. It's not. It can kill people. It can seriously kill people. It's seriously, seriously dangerous. If you was if that like, you had the same scenario with one of these plugs, the kid wouldn't get electric shock because of the safety features and the way it's been designed. It's quite basic. This is actually in my laptop charger. Um, this is. Um, 
you know, very similar to most socket. This is a molded plug. You can get rewirable, molded, you get sort of different types. And it's very simple. You insert this into the, the socket, and I have done a video, which I will put a link above there that you can look at on about um, child safe plug socket, socket covers, and it sort of explain how it goes into the plug. This will go into the plug and you these pins can't go in unless this pin which is the earth the cpc can be plugged in this is a safety pin if you like you push the pins in by the time it's reached the live conductors these are insulated here so there's actually no chance of getting an electric shock unless these were damaged or there are a lot of moody plugs on the market as well I've seen a lot of them there's loads of people commenting on online in forums and stuff like that that they're coming especially pat testers that these are uninsulated which means they're very dangerous you know this is this is a very safe plug in my opinion um it's quite hard to get an electric shock and there's a fault with the socket or the plug but in the us You've got two pins and the pins go in and they make connection and you can get your hands behind the plug to actually get receive an electric shock because they're not insulated and um, the way that they can become live before there's like a safety feature like what we've got with the that has to enter the pin before these go in so let me know what you have to say about this video i can imagine it's going to be quite unpopular with some people who um like the us plug sockets i don't know why you would or you know it might sort of pose some questions that you haven't thought about before but either way i want to hear from you I hope you like this video, hopefully. Um, I don't want to see too many thumbs down on this one, but I might do, whatever, it's up to you. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and um, follow me also for my future US videos. I've got a lot coming out and a lot to talk to you about. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.